conversations with Vi, we're going to talk a little bit about the OR and see if there's still some opportunities for hospitals to save money in the OR. So Rich, you do a lot of work with surgical supply costs, implant costs, and you know whether it's orthopedic, spine, um, or other, some other specialties. So do you, do you still think there's some opportunities to save money in the OR with some of those high cost supplies? Absolutely. I think the really important part on understanding what the opportunity is, is really to go back, like we always do, to the invoices and to the cost per case. And I think once you pull back, especially when you look at, let's say in spine, there's the distributors and different products and different biologics that are being utilized in the cases, how does that really look? How do those cases compare to another competitor or another physician that is doing the same exact case? Mm -hmm. Uh, we've seen a lot over the last year, year and a half, where the biologics is, is, is really being utilized as a way to increase costs. Mm -hmm. And another area is that there's some stocked items that are utilized in some of the minimally invasive procedures mm -hmm. that are being pulled into these cases but are not shown on the bill only because they're a stock item. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely ways that if you know, the people that are on the front lines from the vendor community uh, that they're able to, to pull in different things that really pull up that cost per case. So these little minor changes, little minor mm -hmm. things that are added could increase by three, six, and sometimes over a thousand dollars per case. Yeah, I agree. You know, we've been doing this work since 1999 and every, every year we're, we have projects with hospitals to help them save money in the OR. The OR happens to be the place where hospitals have the most revenue opportunity but it's also the highest cost so there's a balance of really being able to be watchful over those costs and and so we continue to do a lot of work in the OR and looking at high cost implants or even just general medical supplies things that are used in addition um, to those cases like for instance for orthopedics you know, everybody focuses on the implants right the the components for the knee or the hip but there's a big part of those costs are with the cement mixer, the blades, the irrigation, the hood systems, and they can add another thousand to fifteen hundred dollars per case. And they often get missed. And you know what we look at are all the supplies, not just the implants. We look at total cost by case. We still think there's lots of opportunities that exist to save money. Exactly. Similar to purchase services, where we have an implemented the cost management program with some of our clients. It's the same with uh, orthopedics and spine and other types of PPIs, where you're looking and measuring it monthly to, to see any different changes, behavior changes, mm -hmm. ways that the vendors again are are, in, are increasing the cost per case. These little minor tweaks again, mm -hmm. but you'll see it in real time as opposed to looking at it six, twelve, even sometimes two years later. Yeah, it's a great point. So this is last example. I think you brought it out in one of your recent um, engagements. Uh, but we've seen it in the past too, where uh, the uh, hospitals were using the revision components in primary cases, but it was being missed really. And if, if they had a real cost management system in place, it would have caught that trend as it was coming up versus I think when you were able to see it, it was 18 months out and this incredible over spending these unnecessary costs that the hospital had. Right, absolutely. And we were able to, to visualize it and show the exact data to the, the primary orthopedic physician who didn't think it was a big number, but ended up being about 26% of the total cases. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a big percentage. So thank you for joining us with Conversations with Vi. We welcome a call if you'd like to talk about your OR cost and like to learn more about how we've been helping hospitals since 1999.